World of Warcraft is an MMORPG set in the world of Azeroth, filled with adventure and conflict. For us players, this means endless content, questing, defeating monsters, and dying. In Hardcore WoW, death equals delete. Accidentally pull a pack of monsters on low health? Goodbye to your countless hours. Steal aggro on a tough boss? No. <laughs> Get one shot. Hardcore is a real challenge, even more so than any Nuzlocke I've ever played or Draft League I've competed in. Our run here has a few rules to make this the ultimate Hardcore World of Warcraft challenge you could ever imagine. First of all, death equals delete. Don't die or else we're going to start from scratch. Solo self found. No trading or help from anyone, most of the time. Dungeon locks. We can only run each dungeon once, so we have to make it count. And we have a couple additional challenges, so we're going to try to rack up as many achievements as possible by defeating tough quests at lower levels. Meet Terrapagos the Warrior, the character you will learn to love as we traverse the Northshire Abbey and become a hero of Azeroth. Let's get the rundown of a warrior real quick. Here are my attacks and my spells, my health and my rage, and of course the quests. Warriors gain rage by taking damage and dealing damage, and use this for strong attacks and utility. As a warrior, we're also able to use mail and eventually plate armor, the toughest class in the game, so we can act as a tank when in group dungeon play. These beginning levels are a little bit boring, with a couple quests just to defeat some wolves, kobolds, and defias outlaws that plague the abbey as an introduction. We also gain the ability to yell at our enemies, effectively showing our Sigma status and becoming stronger for a few minutes. I don't know, don't ask me. You also may have noticed our backpack down here where we can hold all of our items and equipment, but we also got a black leather pouch. Any bag is super helpful so we can hold more items and getting one this early is insanely lucky. Well, actually, the black leather pouch is cursed, and you will die. Uh, okay, let's ignore that. It's actually going pretty well so far. We eventually steal barrels of grapes from a bunch of wine thugs, I guess, and literally decapitate their leader to assert dominance. Gruesome, but I like it. With that, we are already done with the Northshire Abbey and the human tutorial en route to Elwyn Forest and its infamous town, Goldshire. Goldshire is typically known for naked night elf role playing, but we're here to help destroy the second ugliest species in WoW, the Kobolds. Fargo Deep Mine is the death point of many Alliance players to these rat people. We're sent to collect their gold dust and candles that grow on their forehead, okay? For being level 5, there's no reason for these guys to be the third most dangerous in all of Azeroth. You may expect a boss or super powerful monster to be the most dangerous enemy in the game, but you couldn't be further from the truth. New players run into this cave over and over just to die again and again. Although the miners are just level 5 or 6, players can get swarmed by a ton of them if they stay in the cave for too long. Being in a cave, there's also no way to escape, so unless you have some friends to help you out like I did this run, you aren't going to make it out alive. And I know I said I wasn't going to get any help, this is a solo playthrough, but I mean, I didn't ask, they just did it. Anyways, that help didn't last as he stole Goldtooth at the final seconds, so we had to wait around for a respawn. At this point, we're still pretty much warrior babies. We have no spells, no abilities, no utility, no way to escape from these stupid kobolds. If we didn't have to go into the mine, we wouldn't. But this stupid rat stole grandma's necklace, and we're not going to come home empty handed. On my way to turn these quests in, I noticed that I was missing out on a ton of copper ore that could be used eventually for weapons, armor, or engineering gadgets that might make or break our hardcore experience. So, I knew my next stop had to be Stormwind City. Stormwind City is the Alliance capital of the world, so we'll be stopping by here often to train our abilities and professions. Speaking of professions, while we're here, we're going to grab our two primaries, Mining and Engineering. 
Engineering is widely regarded as the best profession in Hardcore World of Warcraft because you can make bombs that stun and do AoE damage, and you can also make target dummies which can help you get out of a situation in a pinch. This forces us into taking mining, as we're going to need all of those ores to make these crafts. Wait, mining? Crafts? Yeti. Oh man. Anyways, from the Dwarven district of Stormwind, we can take the Deeper End Tram, which will take us all the way up to the Dwarf capital, Ironforge. The city is literally just a giant anvil over a giant pool of lava and a giant cave and a giant mountain. So pretty cool, not gonna lie. We don't really need anything here, but we can run out to the snowy hills of Dunmoreau to do some more low level quests since we're still just a baby warrior. At least we learned a few new attacks, most notably charge, where you can, I mean, you guessed it, charge the enemy and actually have any sort of mobility. These guys want us to take out a bunch of boars for their ribs, which won't drop, and the stupid yetis for their fur, since they need coats, but they stand outside all day and all night in the snow. Like, okay, dude, just go inside next to your cozy little fireplace. These yetis live in another dangerous cave where most young dwarves and gnomes lose their lives. They hit unreasonably hard for their level, and there are less people around to save your life. Lucky for me, I outlevel them, so it really shouldn't be an issue at all. I literally sit here grinding these guys for eternity, like, there's so many dead yeti bodies on the ground, but I mean it's good experience so we can't complain. But right here I'm actually in a pretty bad spot, fighting two yetis. I'm below half health, uses the ice breath. Um, yeah, it probably shouldn't have been that close, but uh, yeah, we win those. We also go mining while in Dunmoreau because we can find stones that combined with linen cloth will make dynamite that's super useful for us. We can also use the copper ore to level up our engineering so we can eventually make some goggles and target dummies. Although these are just cloth goggles that don't have the best stats that we need, you don't really get any sort of helmet until you get to like level 30, so it's better than nothing. At this point, we've done all of the quests right here in central Dunmoreau, so we can go out to the west where there's some extra hard quests. Right here, I made a mistake. I know there's some hard quests coming up, so I'm not really paying too much attention and thinking ahead, and you'll see what happens. After over two hours of gameplay, I run into the biggest pack of wolves you've ever seen with a bear in there just to hurt me a little bit more. I try to run away as fast as I can, try to get away with some strafe jumping, but they end up dazing me and I eventually fall. Hardcore WoW is a cruel and unusual place. Just like that, we were gone. Running into a pack of wolves and bears is the stupidest way I could have gone out, but it's a good learning experience. I really have to pay much more attention, especially on the hardest class, the warrior. But it is what it is, and we will go again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this unusual style of content for me. Uh, if you guys did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you get enough love, then... I guess there's going to have to be a part two with another new World of Warcraft warrior. But until then, see you guys next time. Peace out.